exercises on the BOSU ball. And a lot of this has to do with balance, but you'll really feel it in your core, and you have to keep that back nice and strong. So what you're going to do is bring yourself up to a V, and a lot of these exercises that I'm showing are the ones that you've seen on the box or in that pamphlet. <clears throat> okay, you're going to balance yourself, and you're going to try to extend your legs. If you can't, that's okay. Extend them as far as you can without losing balance, and you're just going to hold it. Okay? But then I'm going to have you bring out one arm, and you're going to hold it nice and strong. And hold it for about, oh, I would say, 20 seconds. Okay? Because you're going to lose balance, and the, the exercise is you trying to stay in balance. And then when you get strong enough, you're going to hold out both arms. Whoa! Okay. And another one is you're going to bring knees in. As you kind of, you're going to extend your abdominals, and then you're going to pull them in. So when you extend, you're going to fall back just a little bit. And so that's a lower ab workout. And if you can't do both legs in at one time, then go ahead and bring the one. It'll be just like a bicycle exercise. And you can see I'm, I'm really feeling it. But the key, Lisa, to doing these abs, nice and slow and really concentrating and contracting through each movement. Okay? And then a modified bicycle, don't try to do the full bicycle on this even when you are strong because you've got uh, too many, too many um, muscles that are in play that can really screw you up if you mess it up. So one foot is planted, one, the other leg is extended. Bring it in and rotate. And you'll, it looks easy. You'll feel it. The slower you go, I know you've heard this before, the better. Okay? And then repeat it on the other side. And then I'm going to flip you over and do the back extensions. And you've done these probably on the full ball. And the simple, the simple easiest one for low back is just extend, contracting through the gluteal and lower back muscles. But a good one for you and a challenging one would be to do the supermans or swimmers, what they call them. And that's to extend the opposite arm and leg. So it'll be your left arm and right leg at the same time. Hold it and then switch. And then when, you, when you're more comfortable with that, do what's called a swimmer. So you're gonna, I readjust myself. So you're gonna do the opposite arm and leg and do them in a quicker fashion. The whole time maintaining contraction through the glutes and the lower back. And then when you're done with that, like you would on the full ball, just fall back and stretch through. And you can't do this with the, the ball. Extend the legs and the arms and just lay there. That's a good stretch for your shoulder, too.